It's said to be the oldest profession in the world, prostitution, illegal in Illinois for nearly 100 years. But the business of selling sex for money has undergone a change recently, a change that law enforcement says is making it harder than ever to get at. In tonight's special report, News Channel 20's Jordan Abadea shows us why. Just a few years ago, prostitutes had to rely on the street, walking up and down them all night long looking for Johns. But today, most of that business has moved online, and prostitution has moved off the streets and out of the public eye. Yeah, I saw your ad on Backpage, and um, I was just calling about that. The most popular website for adult entertainment, Backpage.com. Look for Springfield, Illinois, and you'll find ads for escorts posted every day. News Channel 20 placed anonymous calls to about 20 ads on the site. Most of the women claim they only take donations for their time. Just listen to what we found. 130 for the hour and 145 for an hour and a half. It seems that prostitution, at least here in Springfield, has mainly been pushed to uh, the prostitutes being contacted via website or text message or something like that by the Johns. Other women preferred texting about their services, saying, I play my part very well. And like I said, I can't give details, babe. I can promise you'll want to see me more than once. Florida-based classified intelligence studied Backpage and the activity on their website that's similar to Craigslist. When Craigslist shut down its adult services advertising, uh, or erotic services as they called it, that's really a uh, euphemism for prostitution, a lot of that advertising moved from Craigslist to Backpage, which became the leading site in the U.S. for prostitution advertising. A notable difference between the two classified advertising websites, Backpage charges users to post their ads, profiting off the solicitation of sex. Backpage makes a tremendous amount of money on the prostitution ads. There's nothing wrong with that from a legal standpoint. It's a privately held company. They can make money on ads as they wish. And the advertising is not only legal, but it is protected under the Federal Communications Decency Act. Because a third party posts the ads to Backpage, the website isn't responsible for their content, leaving law enforcement to conduct stings that require a lot of planning and undercover manpower. Certainly with the contact being made through the online uh, process, it makes it a little more difficult for us to conduct um, operations to combat prostitution but it's certainly not impossible. We've done it successfully several times in the past and we'll continue to do so. No, I'm not a cop. I'm not a cop. Since 2010, Springfield police have made 56 arrests for prostitution and every year since then calls for service about prostitution have dropped. So most of the arrests were made in busts conducted by Springfield police. In my experience, the majority of people who are in prostitution are doing it to feed a drug habit and that in turn uh, fuels other problems as well. Um, not only that, there's the issue of violence against prostitutes. Um, another one, we've had John's robbed before being set up by prostitutes. So there's a lot of related crime that happens that uh, the average citizen probably doesn't see. But a woman who texted us about her experiences using Backpage said the police have it wrong. The women who use Backpage aren't the same women who were walking the streets. She says most of the girls on Backpage have never walked the streets, and to portray them in that way is wrong. Most of the streetwalkers have no way or desire to pay the $5 per ad Backpage charges. But unfortunately, consultants say just shutting down the site won't be a solution to the problem. I think it makes it much easier for law enforcement to find people who are trafficking and doing other illegal activities if they are all concentrated in one or two locations rather than scattered all over the web. As long as there are men and women, there will always be prostitution. But the evolving nature of the business means that the way the deals are taking place is changing. But for some, as long as it's not on their streets and their neighborhoods, it's okay by them. In Springfield, Jordan Abadea, News Channel 20. Recently, the law was changed, eliminating felony offenses for prostitution. Supporters say the goal was to focus on 